<laughs> okay. Sorry. That's all right. It's no problem. Um, I'm calling this short and sweet, um, but what I'd really like to call it is I'd like my eyeballs back. I've never had such bad allergies <laughs> in my life. Like my eyeballs are leaking all the time on like basically disgusting and uh, Paul can attest to that. Yeah. So anyway, um, we're calling it short and sweet because we're going to go short and sweet. And uh, we're going to talk about the Women's March on Monday. And uh, uh, I hope that many of you will participate. Um, Paul and, and Douglas talked about it on the show this morning. Um, it's where women and women identified people and men who are uh, with us. We're not doing a fucking thing. Like, we're not taking out the garbage. We're not washing a dish <laughs> and uh i don't know i think it's pretty cool so what yeah so i think that uh i i just i called my stepdad today who's like basically the sweetest man in the world and i was just like just please let mom know that on monday she's not to do anything and he's like I like that. I'm like, and you better make something for her for dinner. And he's like, I'm going to make her a grilled cheese. I'm like, you better. He's like, I will do that. So I thought that was pretty cute. Um, you know, I thought it was pretty cute. He just like, I stand in solidarity and I will make your mom a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> I'm like, that's awesome. I'm like, I thought it would be beef stroganoff, but he's like, no, I can't. It's too hot. I'm like, it is. It's hotter than a $2 pistol in Texas. <laughs> Honestly, it's 37 degrees here in Ottawa. And um, I have to say, it does not make me happy or pleasant. <laughs> you can ask Paul. <laughs> I'm like, I hate everybody. I hate everything. It's 37 degrees. I'm like, mm. so anyway, I'm not really pleasant to be around today. Um, I think Paul might come into a test to that. He's a, he's a good humored man, but, uh, you know, there's only so much he can take. So anyway, I'm laughing because I'm laughing at myself. Like, honestly, it's like not not fun to be around a 51 year old woman who's overheated in the best of days and in this kind of heat i'm just like i want to kill everybody <laughs> so anyway the poor man he's suffering um i have some good news though to share um my okay I'm, i try not to say too much about my kids but um my daughter is graduating uh, next week, um, my son is flying in from Edmonton. He's taking like a five and a hour, five and a half hour bus ride, and then a red eye to get to her graduation. And like, I don't think there's anything sweeter than that. And uh, you know, like he's gonna show up like bleary eyed, and you know, but like he's honoring his sister, and I think it's incredibly. So, I'm really pleased about that. Um, in other good news, because there's a lot of good news, Paul and I are going to Calgary. Um, I'm going to go for four nights, and he's going to go for two weeks, and uh, yeah. So, and the stampede is still on as far as we know. So oh, that's good, like, because there's a heat warning on in, um, well, there's a water warning on in Calgary, like, you're not even supposed to flush your toilet. Like, we woke up the other day to the news from the mayor saying, like, if it's brown, let it stay down. If it's yellow, flush it. I don't know. I'm just like, I've never woken up to such news like that. <laughs> It's hilarious, uh, like it's not hilarious, but you, you know, I think that mayor is doing a really good job of um, 
putting out the water safety warnings and taking care of her city, taking care of her people. Like I actually, re I really respect what she's doing. Um, I think she's doing it very, very well. So, and then as you know, my son is like in Peace River and uh, not great out there. Um, there's rain coming on the weekend, but there's no rain for the next uh, four or five days. Uh, that's not, it's not pleasant. Is anyone in the chat? Hey. Yeah, no, I, I uh, honestly, you know, I can't carry a show on my own, so I'm going to ask Paul to come in because, um, He's got things to say, and uh, I do want to talk about the Women's March. Like, honestly, it's going to be so much fun. Like, I'm doing nothing that day. P, hey, are you coming in? I don't know. I don't know if he knows. But, yeah, like, so, um, like, I'm sitting in this building and it's like very pleasant in here like we have clean water we have air conditioning it's very pleasant um lola is lola the doggo is like doing really well with the heat i think um so uh, really nothing to complain about um yeah Paul, and not to brag, but I do have chicken fingers in the oven. Like, they're going to be super, super good. Because I'm not going to lie, this man cannot cook his way outside of a box. <laughs> can you, can you come in? Please? He's wearing a honeycomb shirt. He's not really super fond of patterns. Um, and oh, slide you over a bit so yep. I can, uh, here we go. So this was a bold move for him today to wear a shirt with a honeycomb pattern on it. He's coming in. I'm also going to say like um, one of my besties. Anyway, tomorrow is solstice. I, I thought that today was um, the sunrise ceremony. Um, sorry, I thought it was tomorrow, but my sister celebrates solstice, and I tr I tried to as well. So I was going to go to a sunrise ceremony, and I I emailed my friend. Um, I'm just like, hey, where are you going to celebrate? And she's just like, actually, I did already this morning. I'm like, oh shit, Paul's in. I'm so, having mic problems. Sorry, P. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Lean forward for a sec. Just lean forward yep. for a sec. Thank you. There we go. It's okay. So what do you got? What have I got? I don't know. Just uh, trying to get caught up on stuff around the apartment. You know, a little vacuuming, dusting, laundry. Going to mop the floors next. The fun stuff. Doing dishes as we speak. We'll have a bite to eat and then uh, watch the Red Blacks game later. Hey. Just got to find a stream for it. I don't know where it's playing, but I'll figure it out. And okay, I'm honored to say like um we've got James from Blackball Di Fiore. Is that right? Di Fiore, yeah, James Di Fiore. Yeah, he's coming to stay with us tomorrow night and I'm so excited. Like he and I are like oil and water, but I really, really like him. And he's coming to stay and I'm so excited. Like I'm gonna make all the food. Yes, she'll make all the food guaranteed. Um yeah, he's coming over. He's coming back from Milwaukee, so he's yeah. going to stay the night and then uh, head back in the day sometime, sometime Saturday. I'm not sure what time. That's not important, but uh, yeah, he'll be here tomorrow evening for uh, probably about the time the game is almost oh, over. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he'll yeah. be here for part of the game. That's awesome. Yeah, the Oilers. Ah. For the third period, probably, by the time he gets in, by the time his flight gets in. so. He's. I mean, I'm not going to lie. He's a bit of a ding-dong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's going to love to hear that. <laughs> but I really like him. 
Oh, who said that? Nobody said that. No, who it's just that? no, nobody. There's nobody to say that. This no, is a no. pre-recording. That's Honestly, just like it does that for hand gestures. We, I, it may have interpreted my hand gesture that oh, way. Oh, okay. We I want to go like this. All right, there we go. But we have mad respect for each other, and uh, I really like when you get along with somebody that you're not like, you know, like he's like you're such a hippie leftist chick, and I'm like, and you are not. <laughs> Well, he's a dude, a man. So he's a dude man. A and, dude man. Uh, but I really like him, and I'm really excited to see him. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. So just uh, not a big show tonight, eh? Just a short one to sort of promote. Yeah, and just a quickie. Promote the uh, promote the the women's strike and the march on Monday at uh, is it 11 a.m. It starts here in Ottawa. I'm not sure. I think it's it's either eleven to three or twelve to four. I'm not sure, but uh, we did discuss it on our our show this morning on the the True North Eagle Beaver show this yeah. morning. If you had a chance to catch that, if not, you can go and watch the watch it again. It's if you just click on the live tab, you can find all the details are there because I don't remember them off the top of my head. I have a lot to deal with on a daily basis, running, you know, a couple of shows and that. So yeah. I have to say, you guys did a great job. Oh, thanks. Um, on Thank the you. show this morning and promoting the march. And, I didn't get to uh, see much of it because I had to yeah, get ready for work. And like, honestly, P, like, you're so smart. You're so wise. And when you're more feminist than me, I find it really irritating. But thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I don't think I'm any of those things, but <laughs> yes, you I'll are. take the compliment. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lola's hiding behind the chair here. Yeah, she's okay. Yeah, she's... um. Okay, I have to tell you one quick little story. She caught a squirrel. Yes, this morning when I was taking her for a walk. You have was, to tell the story because it I was wasn't just a there. wee squirrel, just a wee squirrel, bit of a baby, kind of skinny, and was trying. And she saw oh, it and God. chased and almost pulled me into a Superman pose. Like she really exploded to take off. I could not hold her back. And we got. She chased it to a tree and it climbed up the tree and fell down. It couldn't climb the tree. Like its claws aren't sharp enough or it wasn't strong enough. I don't know. And it kept falling down and she was chasing it around. And then she ran over my foot, and cut my toe open because I was dumb, dumb wearing flip-flops, walking a big dog. Not a smart move on my part. A big dog that gets hyper when she sees squirrels. I'm sorry, a dog or a dog? A dog. That's my dog. I bet that dog. <laughs> anyway, she, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the squirrel couldn't climb the tree, tried to climb my leg. Then she really went nuts. The squirrel fell. And she grabbed it and held it, had it in her mouth, but she didn't chomp down on it. She like, almost like a Labrador retriever would with a duck, just held it in her mouth. I was kind of impressed with that. And then I pulled her back and she opened her mouth and the squirrel jumped and ran. And I pulled her, got a hold of her and the squirrel ran away. It was just, it was just a wee baby. It was not a big squirrel and it was skinny. So uh, I think it was just learning how to fend for itself and how to climb because it did not, it couldn't climb, it kept sliding down the tree she barely didn't even have to jump to get it because it couldn't get all the way up it was very bizarre i'm just gonna say that i'm so glad i wasn't there yeah you would have freaked that squirrel is never gonna be the same no but might might have learned something then this morning it's like when i see dog i run up tree <laughs> yeah definitely yeah no that was like that was a good one and my hand disappeared behind the microphone boom yeah well you know like when Paul brought her back, I was just like, I'm like, I always ask, like, how did the walk go? Because I'm lazy and I stay in bed. And he's like, oh, you don't want to know. I'm like, no, I do. I Tell me. He's like, she caught a squirrel. I'm like, is it dead? Like, is she covered with blood? Like, do we have to call bylaw? <laughs> and he's like, no, no. She just put it in her mouth and then let it go. I'm like, okay. <laughs> It was kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. It's funny now. Well, we're going to call it short and sweet. Um, look forward to your comments. I will check them uh, later. And now we're going to go watch the... Uh, Red Blacks. Red Blacks. Well, it starts in a little bit, but yeah. I'm going to have some dinner and then watch football. So take care. It's going to be chicken fingers. Good times. Fancy. Good football food. Because we're fancy like that. It's good football food, though. All right. See you.